welcome back to the show. Thank you so much. What's, I really what's, what's, go, what's going on here? Oh, I just thought I'd just take it up a notch for this particular visit. I don't. I don't know how I feel about this. Like normally, when you come to the show, you look nice normally, but uh -huh. you you normally dress like like you know street casual. Yeah, like... no, typically I do that. W what's the concern, Trevor? This is just like. <laughs> I don't know, this is sort of like, I'm trying to like steal the job of the Daily Show host look type thing. I, what, are you kidding me? I'm looking at myself in the, oh, oh, now I see it. Cause like, I know, how did, how did that happen? <laughs> like I'm just stirring up a rumor. I'm, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the show. It's good to be back. Uh, Happy first to be things here. first, congratulations, season two. Yes, of That's Fred exciting. Yes, very, yeah. yeah. very exciting. Very exciting. Let me, let me ask you this, let me ask you this. Like, this, this is a show about, uh, like, a group of friends who are the most abnormal, normal people you can come across, right? Like, everyone's cheating on each other, people are getting divorced, people are getting married, people... Yeah. But season one was basically about, like, infidelity and, like, people being shitty. Yeah, season one was just, uh, just like, a, like, a depraved French sex farce. It right, was really... Right, right. It was really crazy. And, and, and everybody... It's about a friend group of six people who, every time they get together, all their old psychological tapes play. Yes. I mean, tapes being the term, because it's, it, it was the 90s. You right, know, right, so right. people still had... Cas <laughs> like, a couple of us still had cassettes. You yes, know what I mean? Yes, yes, and, yes. Um, and, and everybody, everybody, they blow each other's lives up whenever they're around each other. And now, in season two, there, certain people are trying to pick up different pieces right and and certain things happen people go to new places like you said there's divorces there's marriages there's separations but now it feels like people are moving forwards now it feels like it's a more you know uh, like reconciliatory vibe it's like it's yeah. like oh this is progress like people are growing yeah yeah everybody's trying to they're, like they're, they're starting they're, they're starting to try to find what the truce would be yeah. it's like it's like the middle it's like world war ii had just finished and it's like we've got to sign an armistice you know what i mean and so everybody's doing everybody's trying to figure out what's right. gonna where they where they fit in the friend group now. One yeah. thing that people have commented on about this show is that it is an amazing ensemble cast. Like, we just saw it in that clip alone. I mean, you, you have so many great actors, not just comedic actors, but oh, yeah. actors. You guys look like you have too much fun on set. We have, we have an absolute blast. Fred's, f f first, Fred Savage, first of all. You guys uh, remember <laughs> Kevin Fred Savage? Fred and I get to do scenes together all the time, and uh, Fred's in it, Kobe Smolders is in it from How I Met Your Mother. Right. She's brilliant. And, 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 and the other people in the cast who are people who maybe you've not ever heard of, like Jay Sue Park or Nat Faxon, are, are amazing. Annie Paris, we just have a really fantastic cast. And, we, and the thing is that when you make something up, if you improvise on, on set, which right. is always welcome, you'll hear Nick, who created the show, in the back, he'll heighten what you said and then you'll improvise off of what he said, and then he'll heighten it again. It's fantastic. It just makes it just makes for a, a more fun time on set. Everybody's being collaborative all you, the time. You, you are somebody who's doing extremely well, and you have for a long time in comedy. But what I've really enjoyed is watching you, you know, switch things up. You know, like, like you're doing now with the suit. You, yeah, yeah, uh... Yeah. No, no, yeah, but... I'm, try, I'm trying to get into hosting. No, and, I uh, mean, uh... I'm just... Well, I, I think <laughs> acting, acting is better for you. Acting is, uh... <laughs> Acting is better. <laughs> no, but, but really, what, what's been really great is I think a lot of people do not know that you were trained in, like, like the theater, like, you, yeah, dramatic yes. acting. Yeah. And you, you started doing that. You said you, like, uh, I think it was at the beginning of la uh, last year, you said, I want to get into Shakespeare and I want to do a Jason Bourne movie. I want to be in action movies yeah. as well. Yeah. A lot of people were like, well, but you, you're the comedy guy. But now we've seen you. Like, you did Predator and you acted in Shakespeare. Like, you, you did a Shakespeare play. Like, is, 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 that, is that your true passion? Are it you is. going into it serious really, roles? It, re it really is my true passion. I, uh, not, not that I wouldn't do a television show. Not that I wouldn't do a television show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not that I'm not quitting uh, comedy, but, but I, I, um, I was, I'm a Shakespearean trained actor. I, I went to go do formal acting training, and I always love that Ibsen and Moliere and Shakespeare and all of that wonderful stuff. There's some, there's so much to mine there right. as a performer, and so I'm, I'm trying to find my way back to more of that. And last year, I, I played Horatio uh, in Hamlet at the Public Theater opposite Oscar Isaac, and uh, it was, it was. It was, a, it was a dream come true. It was like coming home and a brand new dream coming true at the same time. And I just want to be able to do more of that. That's amazing. Know? Speaking of dreams coming true, um, my dream was to be in The Lion King, and I'm not. Um, <laughs> and I see, I see that you are, I'm here. You I, are I, going I'm... to be in The Lion oh, King. Oh, that's this one. Oh, I with... am. I am yeah. going to be in The Lion you, King. You are going to be in The Lion King. This. How the oh, did that happen? <laughs> I, can I just say this for a second? Those cards felt really comfortable in my hands. I... <laughs> It's going. No, I, <laughs> it, hey, listen. <laughs> but, the, but no, but on the real though, I'm super excited. I, for you. I, I am really excited. Who, I, who are you playing? I'm playing. I'm playing one of the hyenas. 
I'm playing one of the hyenas. I don't, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm Cheech Marin or Ed, but I'm one of them. I'm definitely not Whoopi. I'm definitely not Whoopi. <laughs> definitely not Whoopi. Right. But I'm one of the other ones. Yeah. That's, and it's that's like properly exciting because I don't know about you, but The Lion King is one of those movies that it, it defined a childhood for many oh, people. Oh, absolutely. It, it, defi it defined <clears throat> college for me. But um, <laughs> I, uh, but I, I, it, <laughs> it was. It was really, it is, an, it's, a, it's such a humbling honor right. to be a part of an actual, like a real American classic. And uh, I, in my mind, I just went, it would be like remaking Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, except for five million times better. I, um, <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's so, it's such a, it's a part of a, a formative, it's such an important film in the formative part of so many people's right, lives. Right, right, right. And to have, did you guys see Jungle Book? Did you guys see The Jungle Book? The ju <laughs> yeah. It looks, Better than the Jungle Book. That's not possible. It, it's a, it, there's, I, it's That's a, not possible. Uh, uh, no, have I, you, have you seen Jungle Book? I have seen Jungle, Jungle Book. Looks amazing. No, this is. You understand? I said no. Turn, uh, turn. It's better. It's it, better. It can't be better. No. There's a guy. There was a, the, one of the women. She was a, a PA on the movie, and and she was. I was looking at renderings in one of the rooms that one of the kind of imagination rooms, and there was a picture of a lion, a young lion, laying on a tree branch, taking a nap with a meerkat and a warthog. And she told me that her boyfriend came in and he was looking at this, this photorealistic like rendering and he's going, I said, I mean, that's impossible. Those, I don't want to say the lion would eat the, <laughs> how's the, she goes, honey, it's a, it's not a photograph. It's a, uh, oh yeah, uh, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Like he did, he, he, it looked so real. It looked like a National Geographic photographer's like, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You know, <laughs> it, it's, it looks so real. It can't even, it's gonna, it's breathtaking. This is, this is gonna be amazing for you because it's, it's not just, um, it's not just gonna be the Lion King as well, but you're also in Toy Story 4 as well. Yeah. With you are, like you are just, you are, you are living through my childhood dream. This is what you are doing. <laughs> no, because that, that's phenomenal. Toy yeah. Story is one of the most successful franchises ever. Uh, You're going to be time. playing a character there as well. Yeah, Jordan, Jordan Peele and I are in it together as partners. We're playing partners. <laughs> ah. yeah. yeah, it's great. Right in the middle of the movie, our two characters go to the sunken place. And uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it gets real dark in Toy Story 4. Um, no, it, it's, it was such a pleasure. Doing voiceover in an animated film is the best thing because you can do... You, you can overact and chew up the scenery almost as much as you want because you'll never reach the the the, the heights of what the right, what the, what right, the cartoon right. characters. You can give your all to try to to try to match the character. It's really fantastic. Where you know in in real life you want to get a little bit subtler every now and again. But it, it Jordan and I and Jordan and I had the opportunity to act against each other in those movies. Very often you're by yourself. Yes. Doing the lines. Oh, but you guys were in the booth. We were like in the booth the looking thing. at each other. That's going to be amazing. And it was oh my god, it's so much fun. And Hanks and uh, all, you know Hanks and, and Tim Allen, all the old the, you know Hanks the, like Tom Hanks. Like Tom uh, Tom Hanks. Yeah, Tom oh, Hanks. The rest of us. The rest <laughs> of us. Oh, you know, the Hanks. rest of us have to say his full name. Yes, but I mean yeah, yeah Hanks. Hanks so, yeah. Go ahead. You know. I'm Hanks. so Hanks, Hanks is also. I'm so you know Hanks is in it and so is yeah. Alan and yeah. um, you know I'm so close with this guy that I've <laughs> met one time for three seconds. Um, you know, <laughs> Dude, I'm so excited for you. Congratulations, season two, That's Friends so from College, uh, Lion King, of course, Toy Story four, and everything, man. Congratulations. I'm so you, happy. You man. would I'm you so would make a great host here. of another show. Uh, <laughs> Friends from College is available on Netflix. Keegan Michael Key, everybody.